wondering how Kybella deoxycholic acid injection works. Let's discuss the science. First, here's a reminder about the indication, limitation of use, and contraindication for Kybella treatment. Kybella deoxycholic acid injection is indicated for improvement in the appearance of moderate to severe convexity or fullness associated with submental fat in adults. The safe and effective use of Kybella for the treatment of subcutaneous fat outside the submental region has not been established and is not recommended. And lastly, Kybella is contraindicated in the presence of infection at the injection sites. Kybella is a non-human, non-animal formulation of deoxycholic acid. Deoxycholic acid is a bile acid. It is a naturally occurring molecule in the body that aids in the breakdown and absorption of dietary fat. The deoxycholic acid in Kybella is biologically identical to endogenous deoxycholic acid. Kybella is a cytolytic agent. When injected into fat, it destroys fat cells. Once destroyed, those cells can no longer store or accumulate fat. To avoid potential tissue damage, Kybella should not be injected into or in close proximity, 1 to 1.5 centimeters, to salivary glands, lymph nodes, and muscles. Here is a graphic representation of the mechanism of action of Kybella. Before treatment, you see the healthy adipocytes represented here. Kybella is then injected into the preplatismal subcutaneous fat layer. And at one day after injecting Kybella, you can see here the depiction of the lysis of adipocytes through destruction of the cell membrane. Injection of Kybella into fat causes a local tissue response. The local tissue response is characterized by the infiltration of macrophages and the recruitment of fibroblasts. After each treatment, the fat that is cleared from the treatment area is processed through natural metabolic processes to be used for energy or stored naturally. If the fat is stored, it is unlikely to result in a measurable redistribution to other areas of the body, given the relatively small amount of fat eliminated from the area under the chin. Following treatment, Kybella is metabolized and excreted similar to endogenous deoxycholic acid through the gastrointestinal tract. The local tissue response lasts approximately 28 days and is the rationale for the one-month treatment interval. After 28 days, when the tissue response has subsided, patients should plan to return for assessment and, if necessary, receive subsequent treatments. Let's see what this looks like clinically. Here is an MRI image that illustrates the effect of Kybella treatment clinically on a patient's preplatismal submental fat. This is a mid-sagittal section of the patient before and after Kybella treatment, showing a reduction of preplatismal submental fat. This is the target tissue for Kybella treatment. And here is that same patient. At the time of treatment, she was 55 years old. She received five Kybella treatments. The after images were taken 12 weeks following the final treatment session. In looking at the clinical photos, most physicians would generally agree she had a positive outcome. She was a one-grade responder. She was only slightly satisfied post-treatment compared to dissatisfied pre-treatment. The physician measured a two-grade change overall. This disparity between the validated clinician and patient rating scales means that overall, this patient is categorized as a one-grade responder. Visually, especially on the lateral view, there seems to be a significant change in the submental contour. This example highlights the need for the physician and patient to establish expectations related to outcomes prior to Kybella treatment. Now let's